Configuring accounts in FileZilla. This tutorial will show you how to configure FileZilla to connect to a server via FTP. Click the Site Manager button. Click the New Site button. Enter a site name. Entering a site name will help you differentiate your connections if you have more than one site. Enter the host. If your domain is still pointing to a different server or your DNS changes have not propagated yet, you can use the IP address of the server instead of a fully qualified domain name. Enter the port number. For FTP, the standard port number is 21. Select the server type. FileZilla supports four different methods that can be used for file transfers. It supports traditional FTP connections, SFTP connections, FTPS and FTPES connections. Traditional FTP connections are not encrypted, however, the rest are encrypted. SFTP achieves an encrypted connection by routing FTP traffic to the server over SSH. Since SSH is not available on Windows-based systems, SFTP cannot be used to connect to a Windows-based server. Open SSH for Windows can be installed and configured to allow this on a Windows-based server. It is not installed by default. SFTP does not require shell access to be granted, but is also only available to system-level users. FTPS is a means of enabling an encrypted FTP connection that is supported by some FTP servers that is independent of SSH. Secondary FTP users can use FTPS to connect if the server supports it. The only essential difference between FTPS and FTPES is in how the encrypted connection is negotiated. Check with your provider about which one you should use. Select the logon type. Select normal. Enter the user. Enter the password. Before we connect, let's take a look at some options that can be used to customize the interaction between FileZilla and the server. Click the Advanced tab. From here, you can specify the start folders for both your local machine and your server upon connection. Enter the default local directory. Enter the default remote directory. For primary domains on cPanel accounts, this should be for subdomains and add-on domains if when connecting with the cPanel user, this should be for subdomains and add-on domains when connecting with a separate FTP user, this should be For primary domains on Plesk accounts, this should be. For subdomains on Plesk accounts, depending on the configuration of the subdomain, this should be. If this field is left blank, the remote directory will default to the user's home directory.
Click the Transfer Settings tab. If you are connecting from a network that requires you to use passive connections, you can configure those settings here. Now let's connect to the server. Click the Connect button. Congratulations! You now know how to configure FileZilla to connect to a server via FTP.